Hey, what's up guys? Node Investor here. So the selling continues today. We saw some really tight action in BTC over the last day and a half or so. Last night it was getting real narrow. And sure enough, today we had a break. It could have gone up or down, but we broke lower support. The selling accelerated very quickly and we've not really been able to bounce much since then. So I'll take a quick look at the BTC along with a few other names. It's, you know, all across the board, it's drifting slower we've peaked here on the coin market cap uh, around 470 billion dollars on may 5th and since then we've just kind of been drifting lower here but there are some names that are standing out some names continue to hold up in the alt world so i'll be taking a look at a few of those but for now the pressure remains to the downside we saw a pretty decent bounce here for about a day and a half and just were not able to follow through to the upside and here we are retesting those lows so i'm going to take a look at a few levels to be watching on the downside. So let's jump over to the BTC chart here. So here's the daily chart of Bitcoin on Bitstamp. And you can see there's a couple of things to note here. A few days back, we broke below the 10 EMA on a closing basis for the first time in quite some while since basically the start of this run. We've found that as a strong level of support. We came really close on this day, got back above it here. This was the first time we saw it close below and that was on pretty decent volume. We also saw the MACD crossover bearish that day and the test continued and we saw on the four hour chart just the stair stepping lower during that process. Now we did break above this downtrend that we had been in on the four hour and over the last day and a half or so we saw some pretty decent attempt to rally but you can see volume was starting to decline on this move higher just could not break above that 9400 there was several attempts and it just failed and if you zoom in a little bit here on the one hour you can see how tight and narrow this was getting and in one hour just smashed right through support levels the first support level i was watching was around that 9250 area and then 9200 and in one fell swoop just went right below all that quickly got oversold i was looking for a little bit of an oversold bounce and it just started to drift lower a little bit we've not been able to see much of an oversold bounce attempt yet uh, you can see if you go to the shorter time frames all of these attempts here so far have been met with resistance right at that moving average now there is a little bit of a double bottom forming on the 30 minutes you can see if you go to the rsi here there's a slight bullish divergence as this is going lower so i i still do expect a little bit of a bounce but maybe 9150 9200 is kind of the area that i'm looking at going into the more big picture though this is a pretty big volume reversal on the four hour and so at minimum i'm looking for a retest of these most recent lows uh, basically at 9k and most likely we'll see that undercut slightly that would also get us back into this uh, oversold condition on the four hour rsi so that's what i'm going to be looking for over the next day or so i mentioned a few videos back that you know in the course of this entire move that we've had up um, if we do a retracement analysis on this from uh, the pivot point there around 6700 up to the highs around 9940 you can see that the 382 retracement level is just below that $8,800 mark and that was our last real key support area and so that's 8800 is the area that I was looking at and the retracement level there so you know below 9k if we broke below that that was the other level that i mentioned to be watching and so we've not been able to get back above this 10 ema on the daily we had a, an attempt yesterday we're rolling over today closing lower than we had the prior two days and so right now it's projecting that we're going to retest that uh, 382 retracement level so that's what i'm watching out for uh, if we see a big volume reversal that could change things but this daily candle has about a half an hour left in it but at the time i'm recording this and so right now the momentum is certainly in favor of the bears uh, it's just looking bearish overall with the big volume selling that we saw here today and so caution remains now there's a few alts that i mentioned are still bucking the trend zero x continues to be very strong and breaking out to new high territory here yesterday and just continues to march along and you can see here on the daily chart the big picture this was the prior high ran right up to there paused and just one of the outstanding strong names here 
but uh, there's a few you know that are just not uh, not going along with the the downtrend here. Uh, v chain is another name that is holding up relatively well on this daily. Not on that exchange. That's uh, the new exchange that it was added on Bitfinex. Let me go to V chain on Binance. Here we go on the daily chart. You can see here on this. 10 EMA still holding up well, had a nice move today. This was partly on news of it being added to Bitfinex, but still very good all around. So I'm liking this chart here. And I was looking at it a position here, took a small profit on this once the selling uh, continued with the BTC here today. So I'm watching this little bit of a potential bull flag forming, but on the daily, just still looking strong all around. EOS USD is another name that I'm watching here as it continues to sit very tight right above this moving average. So definitely keep an eye on this one. You can see here on this four hour chart, it's just getting real narrow, a little bit of an equilibrium pattern forming. Now this could go either way. And so the support lines must be paid attention to both on the upside and on the down. But this chart is just continuing to coil up, continue to tighten up. I expect we'll see a move out of this range here in the next uh, day or two. So keep an eye on EOS USD. And finally, Decred. The daily chart of Decred has been looking pretty strong here. You can see on the, the big picture, it is testing a key resistance area that it has tested multiple times in the past. Here we've seen it test this just in April and just here in the last day or so. This was also the test in early February as well as September and August of last year. So a break a closing on a closing basis above this resistance would be significant. So definitely one to keep an eye on. Decred is shaping up pretty well. We're seeing a little bit of an accumulation here in the most recent weeks. And so that one has held up relatively well. It's basically sitting on par with BTC. So the USD pair is going to look similar to the action on Bitcoin here for the last uh, week or so. But one that is not uh, rolling over as much as some of the other names. So again, back to the Bitcoin chart, guys. Just those are the levels to be watching. In the big picture, though, this to me just feels like a normal pullback after a very strong several weeks that we had. We're seeing a little bit of pause correction, just normal part of the ebb and flow of a market. And so for now, I'm not too worried about the long term picture. Um, but near term, I do expect some more downside testing and we'll have to just wait to see where the next level of support shows up and uh, form a higher low here on this daily chart. So that's what I'm going to be looking for here going into the next couple of days. I appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, take care, everyone.